Hello, you corny sods. We are on Glacier, and we are in our tier 6 wheeled British tank. Uh, we did have enough free EXP saved up on our tier 4 Cruiser Mark IV um, to actually just get the new tank and have a ton of leftover free EXP to get everything, including the gun. Uh, we were about 300 EXP shy from getting this thing, so I spent a little bit of gold and uh, free got the EXP, got it unlocked. This thing is stock with the exception of the radio. I do have a tier 3 radio. Uh, our build is optics, uh, vert stabs, and uh, and a few other uh, optics, vert stab, and st um, basically just to stabilize the gun. The gun is good, um, but its letdown is its overall accuracy, and this is supposed to be a sniper tank, so I've gone with camo as my crew's first tier of skill because this is a brand new crew. Um, this crew is all brand new. Uh, bear in mind, some of the maps have been modified and changed, and you know. Plus, there's also the now the legendary anti-flip thing. Okay, so over here has changed a lot. Got a lot more vegetation. Okay, oh, can't get over this. Nice. Um, don't have the new engine upgrade, so I've just got a stock engine. I want to crest around here, but I'm afraid I might get spotted. Alright, so... Okay, let's see, we've got a... Uh, oh, he's dead. That just saved me taking a shot again. There's a... Uh... Well, I'm hitting him. Ain't dead. Well then, on to the next. So we've got a Hellcat up there. Now bear in mind, I'm only firing the basic premium rounds that have 121 millimeters of penetration. Um, like, okay, that, that's good enough to go through a KV, KV and M6, you name it, without having to dab the two key. I, I, I called it. I said that I think that the British wheeled mediums are going to buck the trend um, and I do like them I, I'm planning on going down the tip getting the tip oh no 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 out out thank you Yagpanzer love you too let's get down the dip so he's got no more shots on me alright so we've got a Sterngar oh Staghound and a okay that's the premium one isn't it okay he's dead Come on, M4A1, back up for me. Come on, back up for me. Uh, yeah, this thing is, this gun does not have a lot of good gun depression. I right, missed that one, and boop, he's dead. Like I said, this thing fires fast, good pen, good alpha. I mean, 90 alpha for the stock gun. Most people are like, well, 90 alpha is not, not much. It, 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 it is. Okay, just trust me, it is. Okay, there's KV-1 out there. Long range. Okay, we bounce. It's fine. He's probably thinking, no, it's nothing. Silly, silly little British tank, you know. Raw Britannia. Or as I like to call myself, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the wall a spell. That's how you tell he's bloody British. And... Boop. I rolled there. Alright. He's dead. See? Again, stay back, use your stealth, use your gun, and just get him. Um, yeah, I've chosen not to take any premium ammo because I just wanted to truthfully there you go. Again, as you can see, the overall accuracy of the gun. Okay. I know he's tracked, so let's just keep it up. Yeah. We're just laying in tracking fire. If we're penning him, we're penning him. If we're not, we're not. That went way too high. Oh yeah, we are doing damage to him. He's probably not it, not liking life. Okay, we're just outside my effective pen range on him. That's fine. So the M6 went crest the hill. 
Okay, bear in mind the Jagdpanzer IV is probably right in front of me. So again, I'm using the camo. This tank has got not bad camo. Um, for a tier six, this I think, I mean, yeah, it's only downside is, is it doesn't have as much maneuverability as you think it would compared to like a French wheeled vehicle. Um, not that I own any French wheeled vehicles, I don't. Um, I have some unlocked for free. No joke, I've got enough uh, uh, blueprints on them that they're all unlocked. I just don't want to go down the French tech tree line right now. That'll probably be, truth be told, that's going to be the last tech tree line I'm going to go down. Um, uh, once I've got my tier 10. Okay. Nice know that the. There we go. And I'm legit just holding. Bro. Yeah, you deserve to fucking die. You literally cock blocked everyone, you moron. And so, yeah, uh, we'll see what we got. I'm, 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 I'm blind. We did almost 500 damage. Hopefully, we can get a hit in here. If we can, great. Uh, if not, oh well. Here's what it is. The point is, yep, yep, yep. Okay, bounce. Got him. So, 582. Nicely done on our first game. This was our first game in this tank. So, 582. Four kills. Holy shit, didn't realize I'd gotten four kills, but four kills, not too shabby. Um, I think we've got a couple of daily quests done, which was to kill two tanks, I believe it was. Um, but that was just firing regular ammo. No premium, as you saw. No two key. I took no premium ammo. No premium consumables. Okay, third class mastery badge. Yes, we will apply that. Thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we, um, cool. Got him, got the M4. Let's take a look at what was doing at the KV tracks we penetrate the kv twice nice that's not too shabby not too shabby at all in fact let me see how much credits we walked away with um yeah there you go uh, granted there was an event going on um so even if we take out the 45 we still only paid whatever for the ammo um so yeah i i cleared almost well, almost 20 something k on top so that's not too shabby. Now we do have the ability to get the tracks or the gun. Um, ooh, and it does get a 75 mil gun. Better dispersion, better overall pen, better overall alpha. Huh. Do I want the tracks? What's the tracks? Give me 30 degree traverse. Currents give me 28. Um, you know what? I will go with the turret because it will give me more hit points. Better view range overall as well. There we go. And so that was our technically our first upgrade. You get the raid this radio you get from the very first tank. Hell, you get like I said, you get it from so many other tanks. Um, which is why I keep telling people if you really want to get to know a tech tree, uh, a nation's tech tree, go down the medium tank tanks line first because a lot of their technology leads on to other branches like artillery, tank destroyers, and heavy tanks. Um, and I believe sometimes light tanks, um, it just depends. Now, let's see, this is the tier, tier 7. I think it's going to be a pain in the butt to get used to, but I'm, I'm going to keep this uh, tier 6. I'm going to keep this, this tank, because it's fun. Uh, this time now, I will take a little bit of premium ammo, so we're going to drop the HE, bump that down, whack that up. I'm not going to need that many, I think. Uh, you know what? No. Let's leave it. Let's take it to 17, because 17 is my lucky number. Alright, and so... There we go. So we've got the upgraded turret. This is the turret that's on the Cruiser Mark 4, I think it is. I think that's the Cruiser, the cruiser turret. Let me just double check. Um... Starkhound Mark III, yeah, so it's it's the, it's the same style of turret that's on the um, cruiser. There you go, see? Same turret that's on the cruiser, I believe. 
but of course it's just called the cruiser mark too but it's the, the same rough design if that makes sense um so yeah let's uh see where we can go we're currently now rocking 800 hit points uh we really don't have much in the way of armor it's stealth that we need so let's see do i have any books um no i'm gonna save my books um because again new um battle pass season so we'll be able to get more battle more stuff uh, i will be getting the advanced battle pass here soon so i'll be able to get more stuff more blueprints various other things don't forget guys the iron legion clan i am in i'm the owner of it we are recruiting doesn't matter what tier you're in if you're in tier one or tier ten if you just want to find a, a fun clan to hang out and join just shoot the shit with and just be cool and just play and have fun we're on the north american server i am getting ready to start up the eu server as well the eu, EU side of the clan as well uh, all, again, all we ask is that you just show respect to your other tankers, okay? If if they're being toxic to you, just don't respond, okay? Just say to them, thank you for your input. I'll take it under advisement. That's all you need to say. That tends to shut people up. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, there's no need to be angry. There's no need to be rude. There's no need to be ger arg kind of thing. But uh, this is the only downside with a a because a, there's only literally like maybe three thousand players because the servers had to come down for the updates. So all the players that were playing were like, Wah! and are worried if the servers are coming down. I've probably gone off and gone to play another game, but they will be back. All right, so we're on safe haven. Um, I don't think this map got any kind of new update. Um, it would be nice if they listed what maps did get an update. Um, prefer it being like I'm doing like a small little intro video when the patch when you first log in uh, like you know the following updates have happened then it shows you the maps or even lets you open up a training room and take a look I know um, was it Serene Coast or Oyster Bay I know one of those two got a big change all right so we are definitely um, uh, uh, sniping and our view range has actually increased by quite a lot but bear in mind my crew is 100% working on their camouflage skill um, so yeah uh, I don't have the big gun yet I'm, I'm still using the stock gun that you saw earlier I haven't upgraded the gun all I've upgraded is the turret and yeah even I haven't even upgraded the engine and we're still we're fast whereas it's fast if not a little bit faster than the cruiser because the cruiser is technically on hard terrain I'm currently on soft terrain if you see grass it's considered soft terrain now if I go here look at that I'm literally right up his butt now and this is without a turbo or anything like that and I would dear god this thing with a turbo maybe and a good crew like soft uh, um, some softer ground clearance not bad gun depression this time around now, shell velocity is open. needs a little bit to be desired. What is the velocity? Uh, 850 meters. This one is a... Th oh, God, that is definitely sniper ammo. That is definitely seal clubber. Um, but for the cost, uh, what do you expect? Okay, so they're pushing hard. Okay. Oh, I'm lit. Let's back up, back up, back up. Yeah, of course, it would be a cruiser too. Okay, so we, we, we nailed him. Yeah, now we have lost our driver. You will tend to lose your driver a lot because I think the hitbox for him is like the size of Cape Canaveral. Um, so that KV-2... Okay, so they are, they are losing some over here. What's that? Stug. Yeah, shell deviates like crazy. It's fine. Oh my gosh, gunner. Okay, di di didn't even scratch him, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna... You know, I'm switching out to the APCR, the, the premium rounds. Not for the penetration, but for the shell velocity. So that I know... Alright, so the KV-220-2 is stuck there. Okay, Lush is out in the open. Bruv. What? I... Okay. The guy is a god. The guy's Houdini. Legit. Shell just went through his tank twice. 
got him. Like, the guy's absolutely a fucking World of Tanks god. Literally, I just saw shells whiz right through his tank. Whoop! The dude is Jeebus. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Okay, so the T-28, does he have the derp? Or the, he's got the long barrel? If he's got the long barrel, he's got like 150-something miller pen, which is ridiculous. Alright, so that AA... Okay, those, those guys have got him. Wolverine's no match. Alright, so what we're going to do is a uh, power back. Okay, so they're trying to flank. Our heavies need support. Okay, so they're out in the open. Gonna switch to a two key. And... We didn't penetrate their armor. Nice. Okay. Nice. Good, he's gone. Yes, I had to tap the two key. Am I proud of that? Alright, come on, bruv. There we go. Okay. Dude's in the Matrix. Dude is from the Matrix. Alright. Can we thread it? Yes. Kind of low rolled here. Kind of sucks. Nice. Let's try and get an engine. Wow. There's got a T1 heavy over here. One after tap a two key or anything. But you know what? Let's flank him because we know. Oh, right. So it's just him left. Do I have to? Yeah, he's behind the concrete walls. Oh, missed that one. Bad shot on me. Bad shot on me. Now, bear in mind, I could be technically a one shot to this guy if he rolls HE and high rolls. Okay. Bounced off his butt armor. Fair enough. Uh, I, I, you know what, Wargaming? I don't care. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let your negativity get to me. All right, so we are currently, like, ridiculously in the lead. I am liking this tank. Um, Matchmaker is not too shabby to this tank. Okay, Lucian Excelsior versus him. Uh, nah. There again, I, I have fired ten premium rounds. I'm not gonna fire any more. Nice. Excelsior's gotten the side. And back of the turret. Back of the dead. GG, well played. Nice. Four kills again. Uh, only this time in tier six. Not too shabby. Um, I am liking this tank. Uh, I, I'm going to hate the fact that it's going to come across where I'm going to see tier, tier, uh, uh, see, uh, uh, tier eights. Because you will at tier six. So, hence, that's why I always take a little bit of... Excuse me, why I always take a little bit of the... Um, the uh, uh, premium ammo. We've probably lost a bit. Of, we've probably lost credits on this match. Second class mastery badge. Nice. We've got our improved pass rewards. Nice. Uh, we will apply that. So we're now up to almost nice 28k. How much did we lose? We lost 5k that game. It's fine. That's fine. I'm not expecting to to you know have all the best. So now we can get the better gun, and we can even get the the better tracks, the or the better wheels, so to say. So there's that, and we will we will buy the tier six gun. Um, now, like I said, I was doing all of that with this, the quick firing six pounder gun. Um, this is not the same quick firing six pounder gun that you get on um, like the Churchill or anything else. At least I don't think it is, unless they've really modified it. Uh, nope, you just get it. It's just specifically for this line, and that's fine. Now we can work on getting the engine and then uh, unlocking the tier 7. And once we've unlocked the tier 7, I'm keeping this. I am keeping this tank. Um, I feel that this tank has a, has some a, a lot of opportunity, so I will be keeping this tank. 
Um, so yeah, look forward to seeing that, guys. Um, so yeah, all in all, I genuinely think that this tank um, is is again seven is my you know no we'll go to seventeen. Um, again, 17's my, my favorite, my lucky number, it's my favorite number. Oh, speaking of, I think i got to check lottery numbers, because I did a lottery Friday, and I'm not even sure if I've won. Anyway, probably haven't. Point is, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting tank, to say the least. I'm not gonna lie. It is. Um, and we've even unlocked this Emperor Femorphus. You know what? I like it. It looks like it's old and decrepit and, you know, yeah, we're going to keep that. There we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was two games. Okay, guys, we are in a tier 8 game. As I said, imposter. we will see tier 8s in this it. tank. And that's fine. There we go. Of course, T-34M. I don't want, I don't want to be anywhere close to the BZ. Lovely juicy spotting damage. AM6 manages to get a shot into me. Let's get our tank down. No, Let's get our tank down. Can we get the Oni? Yes, Oni's dead. Oh yeah, M6 knows exactly what he's doing. PT28. You can't believe a little tiny little thing like me. Oh, M6! Literally from downtown. Good kill, man. Good kill. Point is, we got rid of the Oni, which was a really powerful tank, which means our guys really shouldn't be. We got a mutant, so the mutant should be able to handle that M6 and that T29. So, and the Caro P88. Yeah, if he's smart and, and focuses down. Hey, well, careful. Ah, Care oh, brother. Okay. Mutant's sure. gone literally like. Oh, cool. He's got an AMX 5100 behind him. Good, 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 good. AMX should be loaded, and if Which he is, he sense. should clip out the M6 first. Oh, is he going to go for the tier 7 like wheeled vehicle? Again, the problem with the wheeled vehicles is we have very little how often uh, in the way of hit points, which does kind of suck. But it is what it is, guys. Um, so, again, AMX 50B is right there. Let's see what our mutant is up to. Okay, 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 okay. He's flanking the, the T29. Oh, he's ammo racked. Oh, ouch. Brother, 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 pull back, pull back, pull back. You're ammo racked, dude. Pull back. Yeah, no point you spamming help, okay? You're literally walking into a bee's nest. Stop. Okay, dude, seriously. Stop doing that. You're dead. Bye, dude. You're a Muppet. You, you, wow. Bye. Fix your ammo rack. Fix your ammo rack. Too late. Uh, why you decided to push, I don't know. Okay, our f oh, there you go. RMX 5100. It's still Sneaky Pete's doing his little. Oh, good kill, Sneaky Pete. I always call, I always call French Auto Loaders Sneaky Pete's. Because they always do nothing for 90% of the game until they pop out and go kill, 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 and then disappear into the night like a Sneaky Pete. Um, you don't know what a Sneaky Pete is. A Sneaky Pete is an um, English slang word for a thief in the night. Um, so there are times when sometimes I'm, I just need to be Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete, Sneaky Pete. Alright, so. Do, 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 It's a T28. Stop. Don't. You're lit. Alright. Uh, Cromwell. Let's see what he's up to. Okay, Cromwell. Kemp Bush. Okay. You're lit. You're lit. Back up. It's the T34 back there. That's lit you. He's got some really good view range. Alright, so. Cromwell can't flank. Uh, Churchill 7, what are you doing, mate? 
Uh, let's see, what's the Churchill 7 doing? Let's take a look. Okay, Churchill 7's trying to get some shots onto that T3485M. He's lit them up for the Cromwell, but the Cromwell's... Oh, nice! The, 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 the Yu-Gi-Oh tank. So, guys, I call the M, M2Y the Yu-Gi-Oh tank because uh, if you ever played the, the Yu-Gi-Oh, I think it was one of the versions of the Yu-Gi-Oh's where it had basically Transformers, where you could fuse any robot Pokemon, and they had the initials, initials like X, Y, Z, A, B, C, blah, 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 blah. And so... I've always just called them the Pokemon tanks, uh, 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 or the Yu-Gi-Oh tank. Ah, uh, oh, ouch! Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like I said, the wheel, the British world mediums have literally no armor and no hit points as a balance factor. But what they do have is a really good punching gun. Nice, nice. Okay, so we're, we're boxing them in. Barras, Barras to the left. Barras to the left. Cromwell, Cromwell, Cromwell. What, what, what are you doing, bruv, 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 bruv? bruv. What are you doing? There you go. Alright, um... AMX 5100's coming across the bridge. Probably to, to make sure he can get a, a crossfire going on. Oh no, he's under the bridge. Okay, that's an odd choice. Cromwell versus a Barask is no contest. The Barask will win if he's fully loaded out. In fact, let's go take a look. Okay, Cromwell gets one into him, tries to ram him, and fails. Um... Friendly got one shot into him, and... Boop. Wow, the Cromwell actually won that one. Holy shit, if it wasn't for that AMX uh, uh, lob in a shell from downtown, that Cromwell would have gone nowhere. Black Prince has got, a, got trying to get a bead on him right now. Yep, Black Prince is trying to get a bead on him, so the Cromwell is probably thinking, what do I do? Uh, you just stay there and go, that's all you can do. Um, let's see, 30, okay, so the T20's pushed through now, finally, T20's realised, oh wait, that's what a W key does, nice, so there's the Black Prince and the Hellcat, honestly, go for the Hellcat, he's got the more deadlier gun, yes, the Black Prince does have the hit points, so if you're going to go for hit points to up your, your WN8, yeah, go for the Black Prince, nice shot, lower plate, take out, his, you know, go for his transmission or his, or his gearbox, or, or transmission is the gearbox, uh, uh, transmission of the engine, um, he's nicely angled though, I will give him that, he is nicely angled, okay, so the Hell, like I said, go for the Hellcat, it has the more punchy gun, okay, Black Prince is clearly just clocked out, you know, bye, I, I, I guess, so, he's decided to say, fuck this shit, I'm out, okay, bye, alright, so yeah, this is a, the, this is a ransack, um, what can I say, um, not necessarily a, full, a, a 15 to 0 or, or whatever, but it was a 5 to 6. I believe I was the first tank on our team to die sadly, but that's fine. Is what it is, guys. Is what it is. But as I said to you, you will see tier, set, uh, tier 8s, and when you do, this tank will struggle. Okay? So, equal tiers, you're good. Lower tiers, you're good. Tier 8s, mm. tier 7s, mmm. Um, you're gonna struggle and I mean struggle okay so we've used all of our daily boosters today just to get these light wheel to get these light wheel buggers uh, up there all right so I'm not gonna waste that and getting the engine but there it is that's the next tier of tank uh, let's take a look at what gun it gets this is its tier 8 gun uh, 185 pen knowing that you're gonna see tier knowing that you're gonna see tier 9s uh, 220 mm. I don't think so. Uh, let's see, 76 mil. Okay, that's that's a, that's a that's an average, you know, British clone of an American 76 mil gun. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's basically the same gun that's on the Sherman, uh, less the pen. Uh, um, average pen on the Sherman's uh, 76 is 128, I believe, and uh, 180 something on the uh, premium shells. In fact, we can check that real quick. Uh, sh 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 Sherman. Where's my Easy Eight Sherman? Ah, uh, fine. Sorry, there we go. Easy Eight Sherman. There's a few. No, no, I don't want the few. I want the Easy Eight. There we go. Easy Eight Sherman. Let's take a look at her gun. Uh, so it's tier six gun. Yep, one twenty eight, one seventy seven. Sorry, I was wrong. I stand erected. I mean corrected. It's one seventy seven. But apparently we can get some field modifications. Okay, let's do that. Uh, obviously, you want to go with 
the uh, we'll go with that one and uh, then the next one we want to go with is aiming size and then we want to go with reverse because you really the concealment's not a thing for a showman it does not care about concealment all right so uh, anyway guys so there we go um that is the british mediums so we go brits pop pop uh so yeah that is the stag hound uh, we are currently uh three uh three victories one loss um so yeah not too shabby not too shabby out of four games uh three victories one loss out of four games not gonna complain not gonna complain um overall though um i think that it lacks maneuverability that's its only issue for my my liking is it lacks maneuverability um and what i mean by that is is it lacks the ability to turn um, currently with my current skill setup, I've got 24% camo. Um, so if you really want to go that route, you could easily throw on, instead of the optics and, and the vents, you could easily throw on things like the, the low noise and, um, you could throw on the low noise and maybe even a camo net and try and get that concealment up to about 45, I think that would be. Let's see. That would be 10%. Um... And that would be six. That's sixteen on top of that. Sixteen plus twenty-four. Four, that's okay. So that'd be thirty. So yeah, it would be 40, 40, 40 something in change. Um, now bear in mind, my my crew's uh, uh, camo skills only fifty-six percent. So if that maxes out at a hundred, you know there is a high chance you can get this thing up to about forty, forty-five, which means it could make a really good counter scout, I guess. Um, you could throw in keep the optics, of course. And that way you've got a, a, I mean, I've got 406 view range uh, with this build. And I can hit targets, as you saw, guys. I can kill tanks, as you saw, guys. So anyway, that is my review of the tier 6 Staghound wield medium. Now, bear in mind, once I've gotten my crew up there in skill a little bit, I might revisit the tank. But until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Ciao, my friends.